Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And here are the long-awaited Tecton kind of mini pry bars, quarter-inch shafts. Uh, I'll get to those in a sec. I wanted to point this out in case anyone's interested in it. This is a adjustable uh, spanner for the um, arbor or lock nuts on things like angle grinders. And I have a handful of different angle grinders from different companies, including DeWalt and Makita. As well as the Milwaukee, and I was, you know, they all take different sized uh, arbor, or I mean, uh, spanners here to keep them open. So you've got, always got to have those extra little tools. Anyway, I got this thinking maybe that would solve it because you can set it to whatever width you want, anything from about 10 millimeters to 30 millimeters. Lock it down if you need to. Um, but these pins are too big; they don't fit in here. So. I could grind them down, if I can get that, see that? They don't drop down inside that little hole there. Um, they might work on some, they don't work on the one that I really need it to, so this is going back. It was only like eight or nine bucks. Um, it seemed like it was a good solution. I'm gonna just have to spend more on, a, on an adjustable spanner. But there it is, stay away from it if you've got the Milwaukee. Anyway, the Tecton mini pry bars. Now I think we need to open up a new class because the handles, you know, if we kind of put them in line with full size ones, you can see that there is definitely um, a distinction. You know, this definitely is a full size handle. There's no question about that. This is a pocket pry bar. You know, this is starting to push the limits a little bit. You've got that, this is the Lyle with the quarter inch shaft. Um, and it's designed as a pocket pry bar, but as you can see, compared to the Snap-on, it does have a much robust, much more robust handle. Here's the Mayhew. It's got probably the tiniest handle of all. Um, so maybe we need a kind of a mid-size or a mini pry bar or small pry bar, midget pry bar. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, the Tectons, they seem pretty good. They come in a 50-degree angle bend and a 30-degree angle bend. And you can see... You know, the way these are ground down, it is uh, asymmetrical, which it needs to be in order, you know, before they bend it maybe, or maybe they ground it after they bent it, um, in order to have a, a nice roll feature. Some others, you know, it looks like they just took almost a pocket screwdriver and just bent it um, in order to get that. Snap-ons is kind of in between. Um, they probably did have, uh, you know, a fairly uniform blade looks like it there as you can see the the cutting there all the way through and then just bent it simple um, as far as a handle real solid i guess it's that glass reinforced nylon the overall length of these is about seven inches something like that um, or six and a half inches and i tried to figure out about whether shaft or how far the shaft goes up into it and i'm guessing it's right in here somewhere if i keep moving these magnets they fall off kind of in this area, which isn't terribly far. If I do that, obviously the Lyle apparently has a pocket striking pry bar. Um, you can see as I push this up, it stays on all the way. Uh, Snap-on falls off somewhere up here. So I'm guessing it's a hair longer than the, you know, or, or further into the the uh, handle than the Tecton, and then the Mayhew. Somewhere in here, maybe the Mayhew's doesn't have a lot of meat to work with, but you get up to a point, probably about there. But it's got such a small shaft. And speaking of shafts, this one is about an eighth of an inch. Uh, this one here is three sixteenths of an inch. And then the Tecton, the Lyle, and the small snap-on all come in uh, at a quarter of an inch. This is kind of interesting. If I open this thing up and put it on here, um, I'll do them individually so you can see. So this one, quarter inch. This one, little, little bit different. I have to back it off just a hair to get that quarter. So it's not quite a quarter, really close. And then this one, snap on spot on a quarter. But if I switch this to millimeters and do this, 
What do I have? 6.36, 6.24, and 6.34. So this is definitely smaller. This is slightly smaller than the Snap-on, you know. So not that it really matters that much, but it's not all pure quarter inch. Uh, bar stock and it's getting closer. You know the one that I made a long time ago did a video on it uh, This one's kind of more of the while but overall they're a solid performer nice big handle um, I do worry, you know in a pry bar if there's gonna get a little bit of loosening over time But they do have the Tecton warranty and they are made in the USA, which is another thing these cost the pair of these on Amazon is about $19 for the two or roughly um, $9.50 each. Well, Lyle is made overseas in China. It's similar. Um, does have the, you know, maybe a little bit more metal and they do have a striking cap and they do have this fancy pocket clip on it uh, for a similar price. So I think we could bring the manufacturing of these back to the U.S. or, you know, to the U.S. without a lot of work. But anyway, the Tectons seem a solid performer, especially for the money. Uh, they are in Tecton red. It'd be nice if they came in other colors. You can get snap-ons in a handful of different colors. But overall, you know, solid, solid feeling handle, a little on the slippery side but a good performing pry bar. As far as the length goes, it's kind of interesting looking at the, the smallest and one of the largest. If you look at those bends and the, the reach, I pointed this out in that, uh, when it, I used it on that dishwasher repair, that that actually came in handy. And as you can see with the snap on here, you know, trying to pry something up, you don't have a lot to work with. So this one, you know, you could see it here really made a big difference once I could get it in between the seal uh, and the heating element and work, you know, work it around, lifting it out. Um, had, had a nut that kind of compressed this rubber piece on the inside to make it wider so it stuck into the mechanism and kept, kept it sealed. But anyway, it was interesting that this really it needs more of a bend. You know, this is the what I thought was the ideal bend, and you can see on the homemade one here that this actually is more, and I took it from this. That's where I got that angle. So I think that they need to turn up the bend on their bending machine. Anyway, so there they are, the Tecton pocket pry bars, big pocket, back pocket pry bars, um, large, medium, midget, I don't know. Anyway, let me know what you think if you got them. I know a lot of you suggested that I get these once I started playing around with the small pry bars. Um, well, here you are. And with that, Doc out.